what's good everyone so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best possible fps with the best nvidia control panel settings now these are the before results and these are the after results so you're going to want to stay tuned until the very end of this video to get it better fps also i'm going to be showing you guys a super unique trick to make the colors of your game look super vibrant and awesome now with that being said first thing you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is right click on your home screen and go ahead and open nvidia control panel now if you guys can't actually find it go ahead and go to the microsoft store search video control panel and it should come right up also if you guys just want to make sure that you guys have a nvidia gpu and if you don't well then this will not work right now just for a little reference if you guys cannot find video control panel this is what it sh exactly should look like it should be the one with 4.4 average stars but yeah that's all i guys wanted to show you that just want to show you guys real quick on how to do that all right so once you guys have nvidia control panel open basically the first thing that's going to pop up is going to come up with a little prompt all you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is just accept everything that it says and then once you guys are here to the first screen just go to adjust image setting with preview and make sure you click use my preference emphasizing and make sure to slide this from quality to performance now if it's already there then don't worry about it and then just click apply and it might glitch out your screen a little it might turn it off might shut it off a little bit it's fine it's just applying the setting now the next thing that you guys are going to go ahead and do is go ahead and click use the advanced 3d image settings and click take me there and it should just bring you here and all you're gonna want to go ahead and do is copy every single setting that i have right here now if you guys all you guys are gonna want to go ahead and do is just pause the video on wherever you need it at and just go ahead and copy it now some of the most important things that you guys are going to want to make make sure that you do is go ahead and make sure you put power management mode to prefer maximum performance now this is basically going to lock a card at a higher clock speed most of the time but whenever you actually don't need it at all it's gonna lower it like say right now i'm at uh 1800 to 8001 right that's not where it's gonna be at during gaming at gaming it's gonna be all the way up here but right now it's like down here so uh yeah that's all you want to do for that once you're done with the uh, 3d settings the next thing you guys are going to want to go ahead to do is click configure surround physics x right here and just make sure that the for the physics x setting make sure this is on your gpu now this is super super important because you don't want your cpu rendering things or at least trying to now it's going to be pretty obvious that it is trying to do that because the frames would be so low that's just obvious right so just make sure that's on your your card so for me it's the 3060 ti now whatever card you have make sure it's on it okay now the next thing i'm going to go ahead and recommend is go to set up g-sync now g-sync basically is a refreshing like it matches the refresh rate with the hertz of your monitor so say you have 144 hertz right it's going to match the the hertz with the refresh rate so it's going to be like this just so that way there's no screen tearing that's mainly what it's for and also delay kind of helps with that too because you're not fluctuating up and down so much um without it changing like the hertz so basically if you guys have a g-sync compatible display make sure to push your main monitor to have g-sync on if you want of course you don't have to now if you have a lower end pc i'd actually recommend having this on because it actually like really helps surprisingly with the comparison of how much delay you get oh shit my bad but actually the delay that you get and the performance that you get out of it i would say that's definitely kind of evens it out it's pretty worth it honestly overall if you want to have it on have it on if you don't don't it's all up to you but of course experiment with this and uh choose whatever you prefer all right so the next thing that you guys are going to want to go ahead and do is go to change resolution setting and make sure that you guys go to click on your monitor that you have so your main monitor this is going to be the most important thing also make sure your refresh rate is to the max so for me it'd be 240 right because it's what hurts a monitor i have and make sure for whenever you change the resolution or whatever resolution you have it on make sure it's on pc section and it's on native because any of the ones up here are up here make your games look really blurry and weird i think it's because it's like a lower quality of it and uh yeah and for the third setting right here all you guys are going to want to do is click using video color settings and just put it to the highest that'll go so for me i'll put this to rgb 10 bit and I only have it to RGB because it makes the output range to full. And then all you guys are gonna wanna do is click apply yet again. So the last and final step that I'm gonna show you guys is the most important color setting that I was talking to you guys about in the beginning. So basically what this is gonna do is this is gonna make your games look super, super colorful and vibrant. Now, if you guys play dark games, like, I don't know, whatever you guys play, right? Uh, Fortnite, let's say you, play, you guys play that on high settings. You guys know how shadows and all that gets. So this is gonna help out so much with that so basically you guys are going to want to put digital vibrance to around 70 to 90 percent okay now you guys can mess with this you guys can see whatever fits your needs your standards whatever you feel is best for you be sure to put it on that percent and it'll be just perfect and it'll make games look so much better but that is the last step 
But anyways, it is the end of the video. Hopefully guys did enjoy it. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And don't forget to use supporter credit code SWITCHY in the item shop if you guys do play Fortnite. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys at the next one. Stay safe, take care, and stay blessed.